Hello, everyone. We are going for a quick walk outside. Weather is starting to become quite good during this springtime here in Portugal in uh, in Europe. We are going to talk about my self-experience on how did I reach, how did I near reach enlightenment? How did I near reach enlightenment? So the bit is going to be about my self-experience on how to achieve the fastest way to achieve enlightenment. So, stay tuned. First of all, there's no shortcuts in life for anything. There is, but you might not end well at the end of the, of the path or the shortcut you take. Because life has its own time and space and even the soul knows exactly what what is the exact moment for you to achieve anything. So in this case we are talking about enlightenment, which is... Many people don't even know what is enlightenment. They think, they confuse like sometimes the awakening, spiritual awakening is not enlightenment. It's just the beginning. So in this video I'm going to explain to you my self-experience and how, what did I do to almost reach enlightenment and why I didn't reach enlightenment as I could, but there was a decision and this decision was based on what was still left to experience before reaching enlightenment because there's more than one enlightenment and that's what I'm going to talk about in this video, okay? so. First of all, I'm going to go very straight so that this video is short and you can understand exactly how to get there. So, you need to you need to remind yourself that you need to know who you really are. So, that was my search. After my spiritual awakening, which if you are still not awakening, then you still need to have your first spiritual awakening. But most likely, if you find this video, you might be already. So, you need to find out who you really are. Most of us that are already spiritual awakening already know who we are. But who we truly are is not based on what we were told or given in this life. It's something that already is born with us. So, it's something that your life purpose is attached. So, before you came to life, there is a source and you came from the source. And when you self-realize that you are coming from that source and you recognize the Divine Father and the Divine Mother that are not the ones on this earth but the ones that exist with you forever, you will then know who you truly are. Okay, From where you're coming from makes you know who you truly are. And when you have that 
you will want the highest achievement possible, which is the higher state of human being. So we can, we are spiritual or multidimensional beings. There's a cat. Multidimensional beings. We are multidimensional beings having a human experience, right? So, let's just go back here. This is the metro station. We are human beings, uh, spiritual or multidimensional beings, having a human experience on Earth, in this lifetime. We are God itself having a human experience. That's why I call this channel God Man, because I want to remind you that you are God having a human experience. So God having a man experience and man having a God experience. That's all it's all about this channel. So everything is involved. God gave you the free will. And before you came, you made the purpose, you created the purpose from the source. That's why you came to Earth, to have this, to fulfill this purpose. And this purpose is, has nothing to do with destiny. Because destiny is something like, you cannot do anything, it's already done the entire path. No. Purpose is something that you come here to realize, to self-realize, and to experience it in a human body, mind, experience, spirit. Okay, human body, huh? human, in the body, mind, and spirit. And the way you're gonna do it, it's not yet decided, but you came here to fulfill that purpose, no matter what. So your soul is gonna guide you through the best intentions. Sometimes you come in one lifetime and you don't realize your purpose. You don't awaken. You don't know who you really are because you have decided to forget who you really are. And then another lifetime and another lifetime and you continue to even more forget and forget even more who you are. And so it becomes even more difficult for you to remember who you really are. That's why there's people that you speak to them and try to awaken them and they are completely sleeping, man. They are completely asleep. They are in auto, auto mode. <sighs> so, when you self-realize who you really are, you have to make this search your first priority. That's how I came to realize everything in my life that goes to my spiritual purpose. I put everything that is spiritual in first plan, no matter what, in my body, in my mind, and my soul. I meditated non-stop, every day, I follow the best diets, everything, I turn myself into raw vegan, I stop uh, cigarettes, I stop alcohol, I stop drugs, everything, I detach myself from people, uh, negative energy, from everything that would not work in the favor or would not would counter work i would get rid of so i needed to be part of everything that works towards what i wish to achieve as a purpose and that was my purpose my purpose that i made myself in order to achieve my highest, deepest awakening of the source within me, okay? Um, I have so many stories that I want to tell you, which are from my self-experience, but I will make that in different videos. So, and when you achieve that, you are then ready. When you are really comfortable in meditating, having deep meditations, and so on and everything can come at you like 
You can be on a fruit diet, you can be on a veggie diet, you can be on a meat diet. No matter what, you can do. Because you are ready, you are a strong, powerful human being with power, powerful, positive intentions, ready to kick some ass, okay? When you are fearless human being, self-realized, spiritual awakened, nobody can beat you. Not nobody in the fight. I mean, no energy, no, yeah, energy, because everything is energy. No, there's no BS that's gonna defeat you or attack you or anything related. So, when you're ready for that, you have to be able to detach yourself from anything. So, you have to detach yourself from family, everything that we connect on this earth, you have to be able to disconnect. And why? Because every attachment won't allow you to activate your crown chakra. Your crown chakra is directly related to universal consciousness, direct consciousness itself, direct, directly connected to pure manifestation itself with your consciousness connected to the universe and the cosmos and higher realms. And the negative part of it is your ego, and your ego is connected to attachment. So you will have to be able to, in order to fully activate the crown chakra, you have to know how to detach yourself. It doesn't mean that you have to eliminate forever every, everything that makes you attached to anything on this earth. You just have to be able to detach yourself within you and also physically because you will have to go in a journey. Now, Try to not get beaten by cold, <laughs> but hey, it's not a lot. It's not dramatic cold, but it's kind of fresh because here it's very humid. And there's a river, and then the sea. So yeah, we are very connected to the ocean. So when you are ready for this, you will have to go in a journey, and it's called. You have to go in a, a retreat. Now, you can either go to a retreat on yourself, like somebody has a retreat center. The most natural is the better, but you have to be able to choose the right retreat because this retreat sometimes can charge you so much and sometimes you won't be able to to achieve anything related to enlightenment just because you're going to be thinking about the money you spent. <laughs> so that's why I want to build my own retreat and make it affordable and very special and easygoing that gives an opportunity to, to everyone to, that wants to achieve enlightenment in uh, various places on earth, all continents so that everyone can go there and achieve enlightenment. So, <clears throat> you have to go to a retreat or you have to create your own retreat. So, how you can create your own retreat? Your own retreat, I'm gonna tell my self-experience, how I did it, and then, you can make your own conclusions because then I will tell you exactly what can happen and what might not happen. This light on my face is very strong. It's still very wet, I guess. 
So I went on a journey. Uh, I was living in Corsica, in the island of France with my mom. And then there's this mountain and uh, there's a lot of, it's a very ancient, so there's these constructions, natural constructions of before civilizations. And some of them, it's like the old houses and they used to be very small people, so they would fit them there and also animal, put animals there. So I actually found one of these and then I, I took a tent because I didn't trust the, the, the cave itself because it's not really a cave and it has an open but it was very dark and it, uh, it was summer, I don't know what I'm gonna find so I just went with the soul and then I said I want to experience now because the soul was really so connected to me and I was feeling it that I really needed to to isolate myself in the total darkness and on my own and disintegrate and de totally detach myself from anything technology light even the light itself no sun only darkness alone isolation family attachments everything i had to detach myself completely and uh, that's what I did. And then I took just a, a bag full of fruits and then I would have to consume those fruits when I'm hungry in the dark as well. So if I wanted to poo or to pee to make my necessities, uh, there's a piece right there. <laughs> oh, I said again. Um, I would have to go outside during the night so that in the night there's not so much light uh, because I was making on my own you know and there was no facilities no exact organization for this so I was trying to make it uh, as official as I can because I really needed to experience that and I knew I didn't have the opportunity to go on a retreat to some country to to do that and uh, and I went and I stay three days there. Now, I'm gonna make a special video about this. About this moment in the dark room where I, I made already in another channel, but I wanna bring it back with my new updates from now. <laughs> There's a lot of sun from frogs. And make it, uh, bring it back and bring to this channel as a new and tell my experience for you to, to be able to share this wonderful experience. And um, I was able to speak with God, speak with my soul, speak with my ego, ego speak with the universe, like direct conversations. And the feelings on this dark room, it's insane. It's like you are speeding up your entire life spiritual journey in just a couple it's gonna take a while in the beginning you're gonna sleep a lot in the beginning because you're gonna start to activate the DMT and generate DMT in your pineal gland and your pineal gland is gonna start to stimulate so much then you're gonna start to activate your third eye and you're going to start to listen frequencies, different frequencies at the, all at the same time. That's what happened to me. I don't know if it's going to happen with you. And you have to be 100% open-minded, man. You cannot judge anything. I was just mesmerized for everything that was happening in that moment. Like very, very, very crazy and very spiritually, very spiritual. And all these frequencies... I think I listen frequencies that I never listened in my life. All at once I'm like, wow, man. And so clear, so crystal clear, like, and the visions and everything was really, really crazy. But the beginning I was just mostly sleeping, 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 resting, because 
your body is going to be like, oh, let's get ready. Finally, we have some pure darkness. That's why we have to embrace darkness, man. Darkness makes the light shine, man. <laughs> and uh, we need to go through that experience. So, you start to generate so much DMT that you're going to start to activate the higher realms within you. And you will be able to communicate with your soul like you are speaking with me lower right now, like this. And then you will have a little bit of hard time to identify who is who, but you will know after a while. So you might be thinking that you are speaking with the soul and then it's actually with God and then it's with your, your ego because everything is one, man. Everything is one. That's what you have to realize. There's no difference. God is ego, ego is uh, the soul, the soul is uh, the universe, the universe is earth, the earth is ever. Everything is one. When you are truly connected, everything is one. <laughs> it's, just, <laughs> it's just a different frequency, but it's all one. It's all one. You can create anything you want. If you want to speak with God, you speak with God. If you want to speak with the soul, you speak with soul. Everything at the same time. And then you can bilocate, you can trilocate, you can... <laughs> You are a manifesting, I would say machine, but you are way more than that. You are a multidimensional being, man. You are so powerful that you don't even imagine, man. You can do the most powerful things that you never imagined that you couldn't do in this earth. And I will tell you something. I was already activating the pure manifestation field. You know the manifestation that everyone talks about? Manifest anything you want. Instantaneous. They don't. They cannot do that. They don't know how to do that. And if they don't, they do that, it's unconsciously because you don't have any control of it. But what if I tell you that you can have the control of instant manifestation, man? Because I was unconscious, but then when I, when I realized, I was like, what? But then I calm down myself because then I cannot let the ego uh, get hyped on this. I have to be serene. But then I realized it and smile with the deeper soul, man, with the deeper heart. Because so many people say, why you don't smile in your videos? Why you don't laugh? Why you don't smile? Because my friend, I'm not fake. Okay, I'm not here to <laughs> I'm here to inner, deep, serene. You know what God did when he appeared to me face to face? He didn't smile, like, like laughing, like <laughs> God just make like this. This serene, like I am omniscient, I am the one of everything and the everything from the nothingness and <laughs> you freak out man you are like what the f <sighs> your whole kundalini poof, energizes explodes of energy and you are like exhilaration of <sighs> vortex of energy is vortex and everything lights up like a you are a firework human being of energies and colors and everything just with this smile but with a very serene smile the one that the one you know the one of the one the wisdom the knowledge experience of the highest of the highest of the highest of the supreme divine dimensions it's a smile and i had that chance man i'm like <sighs> Man, I was crying because God appeared to me not in the dark room. In the dark room was different. I'm just telling you an, a different experience I had way before that. Because after my spiritual awakening, after a few months, I was deep meditating in my room and I had a magnificent, magnificent experience of face to face with God, man. It was the most beautiful ever divine spiritual experience I ever had in my life. 
but going back to the dark room. <sighs> when I reached the third day, I was already feeling vibrations from Earth and the universe and the entire thing. And my conclusions are, in that moment, I knew I could go further. But then my food in the sack finished and the food was rotting. It was summer, it was so hot. I didn't have any free refrigeration, nothing. And I needed to keep on going because I couldn't go uh, on fasting because I would, I, I felt I needed to consume energy because I was, I was at, <laughs> spending all the energy from the body because I was feeling divine, unique, and I needed a little bit more because I wasn't ready to be fasting during this moment. But I could, you know, it's just that didn't occur to me to go and I didn't feel to that. So we have to listen to that. And, and it's another topic I, have, I will go for, to because being vegan might not be the highest way because we are missing nutrition and maybe that was the case. I needed more and I was vegan already for five years on that moment. So that could have like, a, no, three years vegan. That could have a heavy toll on me during that moment. So that's why maybe I wasn't ready to be fasting for so long during that time. But then there was a decision, there was a moment to say, There is a higher, a higher plan, a higher purpose for you out there. I'm like, what is higher than reach enlightenment? Like something that I always wished for. Like it's what I really feel after my spiritual awakening. It's all I wanted forever. It's all I wanted to reach. I wanted to reach God state of consciousness, which is enlightenment on earth. And I want to be some, someone I wish, I truly feel, I, and I believe, and I know that I am as, as powerful as Jesus, as Buddha, I am a master that I just need to activate that. I don't want to be them, I want to be me, yes, but inspired by them because I know I can be as powerful as presence as an energy human being as Jesus and Buddha and other ascended masters were, were and something something this divine energy was telling me that my purpose on earth to before enlightenment is still not done because there's another enlightenment and I'm like what but on that moment, I never guess it. I just realize now. Man. <laughs> That's some crazy deja vu because I used to have deja vus even before my spiritual way, uh, even premonitions and all of this. But then it stopped. Now it's just some deja vus. And I have these dreams where I can fly. I, I have powers and I'm in front of people flying. And it seems so easy. It's like I'm any place here on earth and I'm flying in front of people, man. It's like an easy thing, man, very easy. And then when I wake up, it's this density, man, like pushing me down and I'm like, man, how can in a dream be so easy, man? It's so easy. It's like I'm already experiencing flying here on earth. And then when I wake up, it's like, I almost feel like I can fly and then I'm like, I'm not. And I'm like, man, I wish to achieve man, true enlightenment because then I can free myself from this kind of heaviness. I don't know. I know I can embrace it, I embrace it, but you know, you, you wish that because you already experienced that. And I believe that the dreams are the real life, you know. We are experiencing real life at its best. So, and there was something else that I needed to experience here on Earth before I reached enlightenment. And I'm like, what an, a unique divine experience. It's something that I never expect, but I will go because I, I'm already ready. 
accepting this idea of because I was in unconditional forgiveness, unconditional acceptance, and unconditional love. And that's what brought me the spiritual awakening, God face to face, Jesus face to face, dark room, almost near enlightenment, reach near enlightenment. And in this moment, I felt, yes, I have to go back to Earth. And then I started to feel all this divine things that Earth holds. And I never expected that because I it's all material, right? But it's not. It's not. We can make paradise on Earth. It's just that we are not working for that. We are not aware of that. And when we truly realize that Earth can be as paradise as heaven, then we're going to live the true lives. Imagine everyone is master as Jesus Christ or Buddha or whatever. It's going to be paradise on Earth. It's paradise. We get to do whatever we wish in our, in our highest and deepest desires and fulfillings of the greater, the greater good, the divine purpose. We get to fulfill our divine purpose here on Earth. <laughs> We get to fly, we get to, I don't know, experience things that we never possibly could before. And, and then I went. I took off, organized everything, pack up and went home, back. I was a little bit not 100% as happy, but I was grateful. But I, I didn't fully understand why I had to go back to Earth. I knew the good things, yes, I started to feel such a deep desire of family, connection, the food, and everything. Because it's truly divine to experience those things. We don't give so much value, but it is, man. Just go homeless or go to the worst place on earth where there's the worst conditions ever, and then stay there for one, one week. You will see what's going to happen when you go back home and you're going to feel so much connection. You're going to be like, wow, I love my house. I love my food. I love my shower. I love my this because we don't give value to the things that we usually have easy, you know, easy, let's say. And then I come back and now that's what I'm going to do in the next video is the first enlightenment of someone is not mandatory, is not obligated. It is to create your own family, man. Or to live in a family, let's say, accept your family. But when you create your own family, which I'm talking about on my own experience, man, and you are spiritual awakening, and you are in a twin flame relationship, or twin soul, but in this case it's a twin flame. And you make a baby out of a twin flame relationship. Man, <laughs> that's the first enlightenment, man. I never... F you know the same feeling I have speaking and smiling to God? When he appeared to me face to face? When I look in the, babe, in the face of my baby and he smiles back to me, man. Look, all my hairs. Man, what a goosebumps. It's the same like God, man. And now God, we think God has to appear in the exact same way like he had appeared for Jesus, for everyone out there or for you it appear once like that so it's gonna have to appear like that every day no man you are wrong god will is a multi formless human being man human being <laughs> energetic uh, higher dimensional being he will never he will never appear the same way he will never connect with you the same way it will always be formless shapeless infinite ways and that's the most divine experience ever because 
God is everything, is every way. He is the nothingness and the everything of all and none at once, at the same time, at the same space, at the same infinite, infinity. And when I smile to my baby and he smiles back, it's like having God smiling to me every single time. So God, yes, lives in a baby, lives in a mama, in a mama, lives in a father, lives in a brother, lives in a friend, lives in a tree, lives in an animal, lives in the sky, lives in a message, lives in your meditation, lives in your food, lives in everything. So when you create a family, you will be fully connected to earth as your Kundalini. And when you accept this divinely, you will be connecting with the Divine Feminine God. And then, when you are ready with this, you will no longer, when you have fulfilled all your experience as a family, and you are ready to go, then you will no longer have to be missing your connection with the Divine. So then you are ready to accept your Divine Masculine, which is your Higher Self. So, the Enlightenment is all about the marriage, the celestial divine marriage between the Kundalini, which is the divine feminine, with your higher self, masculine divine, divine masculine energy. When you fuse both in your pineal gland and this DMT starts to explode and you connect, you become the true nature, the true multidimensional being manifested here on earth with body, mind and soul reintegration and then you are able to manifest anything you want instantaneous and become whatever you wish to become. If you want to reincarnate, you can. If you want to disappear, you can. Whatever. You are free. Free and free. Nobody. Nobody can <sighs> You are the wholeness. You become God, okay? And that's how you achieve enlightenment. Now, there's multiple ways to reach enlightenment. You can even reach enlightenment in family, man. There's another video I'm gonna do. And that's what I'm discovering. You can just heal your emotional state and so many other layers. And when you're done, just like naturally, but this path, this one, is gonna take very long time. But this one with the dark room, you're gonna set yourself like a skyrocket man, you're gonna <laughs> a rocket jet straight to God and then God is like, hey, you need to do this and this and this. And when you're done, you get to reach enlightenment. That's how you reach enlightenment. You have to give yourself up, every, everything to God. When you do that, that's how you do it in the dark room because you're gonna give the light, you're gonna enter fully in the darkness so even the light you're giving because the sun won't be able you will, won't be able to reach it so only it is and its energy and that's how uh, just for you to tell you something before I, I finish the video uh, when I was there inside there's these people it was summer and there's I listened to these people trying to go cut some saw some wood, some trees, and it was a Sunday. I I know because when you are inside, you don't lose the perception of time or or space because you start to be so connected that you can feel the the entire day and night how it flows, the the sounds and everything around you, um, uh, and then. These people were sawing the wood with the machines. And this is a video that I'm gonna talk about the true manifestation, the powers of nature, instant manifestation. But unconsciously, because <laughs> I was doing it, but I was not self-realizing. So it was conscious because it was, <laughs> I was conscious about it because I ordered it consciously but I was not self-realizing that it would happen in that way of me. I expect that that was nature. So I said, 
in meditation mode, I said, I accept unconditionally these people. I forgive un unconditionally these people for what they are doing. And I love unconditionally these people, okay? From the bottom of my heart, I was not lying. I don't usually lie, but that's, uh, you have to keep in mind that <laughs> you cannot let yourself, your, your ego step in and judge or anything. So, and I did that. And then I said, please, nature, they are trying to cut you. I know it's a process that happens. We need wood, yes, but I'm now trying to reach enlightenment here and they are disturbing my peace because I am so sensible, so higher, hyper -sens uh, sensible right now that I cannot support these right now. I can try to avoid, but it's uh, making it very, very difficult for me. So please just do something and send them here another day, but not now because I really need this moment for me, okay? And uh, yeah, I accept, uh, forgive and the love unconditionally, whatever it comes. And then I forget it. I really put it to go, let it go. And leave the universe to act. Man, in just five minutes or something, I almost forget about the noises. But they were like... <laughs> it comes such a blow of wind like... <laughs> And they stopped this machine. Like 10 seconds and then they're like, oh, it's enough. And again, the second blow. Like, I felt the earth vibrating, man. <laughs> Such a vibration, man, I never felt before. It's like it's gonna have an earthquake. The second blow was like three times strong. And they're like, dum, 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 dum. and the trees, <laughs> and then they stop like for one minute, and then they turn on again. Man, they couldn't even almost turn, fully turn on and start to cut. The third man, it took like five minutes, man, blow, but three times, it's like nine times stronger than the second one, and took like five minutes, like like a. <laughs> My, like a, um, what can you call, um, <laughs> a tornado, man. <laughs> They're like, run, run. <laughs> they run the hell out and never came back, man. And I continue my meditation. And then after I'm like, ah, oh, so peaceful, cool. And then after, after I start to realize, wait a second, why they are gone? all of a sudden. And then came this small realization going to be big because of the ego and I'm like, no, just leave it. It's a manifestation, it's okay. But then when I came out and I started to on earth, right? Back to earth, get back to the house, start to eat, start to listen again, people speaking and have a family connection. It's why I was so sensible. So I was quiet, I was speaking very low. I could almost not even speaking, speak. And then started to realize that that was pure manifestation with nature, powers of nature. I used the air, the wind, the energy of air, the air element of nature to instant manifest a blow to remove them from that space and time to bring them another moment, but then just to concentrate myself on the divine. That's the pure manifestation. Okay? So, make sure you hit the subscribe button, like, because this video is something that out of your mind. You don't usually get videos like this. What you get is people trying to sell you BS, courses, programs, things, how to meditate, how to this, how to that, man. I'm gonna teach you everything you want in this channel for free, okay? So there's nothing here, I'm not selling you anything. I'm just telling you my self-experience stories. And I'm living today, man. I'm living 
every single moment at its fullest, fullest. And why I don't upload every day almost? Because I try, but I give myself first priority to my baby, my family, because that's my enlightenment, you know? Channels and YouTube and all of this is second or third priority. First is true love, true enlightenment, present moment. YouTube is not present moment. I'm here, yes, sharing my present moment, but you're not gonna see this in the present moment unless I make a live stream. That's more different, but you see, it's not the same connection. When I have the connection with my baby, where I spend the most of the time and I'm giving all the love, and that's another video I'm gonna do, the importance of fulfilling the enlightenment of family, man. How you have to treat your baby, if you have a little child, a little baby, how to have the best spiritual experience with your family or with your new family, with your twin flame, how to find your twin flame, for real. Things that work for me. So stay tuned in this channel, God Man. My name is Ivo Arthur and thank you for watching. Namaste. Embrace your soul, body and mind and stay peaceful, stay serene and be happy, celebrate, stay tuned, till the next video, bye.